Okay, hey, it's Banjo Paul coming to you live from the car of Tim Slanska. And we're on the road heading for big, beautiful Lansing, Michigan. Um, I don't know how big and beautiful that is, actually, but um, it's one of our favorite cities as um, string instrument pickers because of the retail store Elderly Instruments, which is over there. And we're going there today because um, Tim's wife is just begging him to get a new banjo. And uh, Tim is taking lessons from me, and uh, he just really doesn't want one, but he's going along to please his wife. We just said she can't get enough banjo in her life. Let's see if we can pick her up in the video. I don't know, there's Ellen. She's smiling quietly to herself, thinking how she's going to drive stakes through my heart. Um, but anyway, here's Tim uh, behind the wheel there. Don't look at the camera, Tim, just drive. What have you been looking at for, uh, for banjos? What do you have your eye on? Well, I have my eye on, uh, right now, a Deering Maple Blossom. Seems to, the neck on the maple blossom seems to fit my hand for, uh, pretty well. I've opened everything. Okay. And pretty much I've picked out uh, uh, nine banjos that they have there in stock. And my goal is to play all nine of them today. And then if I can find someone who can play better than me, which shouldn't be very hard to do, yeah. um, I'd like to stand in front of it and hear it from uh, the most. Sounds like you've thought that through and you've got some good good ideas on how to choose a banjo. So. Um, cool. Uh, we'll get to show everyone who's not in Michigan what the elderly sales floor looks like. It's really, really pr pretty phenomenal with all the banjos they have. So, anyway, we'll see you at the store. Bye bye. Okay, so we walked into Elderly's here, and there's Tim in preparation, starting to drool. I see the drool coming out of the left corner of the mouth there. So, here's the famous uh, banjo wall at Elderly's for all of us banjo pickers. Quite a bit of stock, and that's not even all of it. They've got higher end stuff hidden in the back room. Gonna dig in and spend a few hours looking at banjos. Alright, so Tim's had two or three banjos in his hand already and he's now picking on a stelling. What is this, uh, Kathy? Bellflower. So we had a Gibson Blackjack we were trying, then an RB250 by Gibson. And now we've got a Stelling Bellflower. And you think the RB250 grabs you more than, than the Bellflower? Yeah, I kind of like the, the, the sound of it. It's yeah. a little bit brighter. I think that's the sound. You sound like a sophisticated banjo buyer, Tim. This is good. Yeah. Like, you know what you're looking for. Sounds pretty smooth from around here. That's got a nice sound to it. Yeah, it does. Now, can you feel a difference in the radius fretboard? Does it feel different? All right, here we have a Stelling Virginia. Yeah, that really barks. That really barks. Oh, Kathy hears it. So, yes. Now, what? What's your opinion of that from behind the banjo? It sounds good from behind. Like, yeah. Yeah. I'd like to hear how it sounds from. Think you're liking it better than what you've heard so far? Is that in the running or? It's in the running. Yeah. In the lead or just in the running? Uh, you know, I still want to play the. Yeah. The but so far, is it better so than the RB250? I think so. Yeah. yeah? Okay. So. Cool. Okay, now well, we got a Deering Maple Blossom here. I was just commenting that it's, uh, there's just something lacking in the sound of it compared to the Stelling he was just playing. And I don't know if that's coming through on the camera or not necessarily, but live and in person there's a, a marked difference between the two banjos. It really is. Can you hear that, Ellen? A little different tone to that? A little different ambiance, so to speak? Yeah. So we have professional banjo critique, uh, Ellen Slanska here, who's giving us her, uh, you know, her reading of the two banjos, and and so our advisor has just let us know that this one doesn't have quite the sound that the uh, Stilling did. So. What are your thoughts from behind the banjo? 
Well, I can tell you, this was probably at the top of my list prior to coming here. Okay. And it's dropped significantly. Hmm. Uh, compared to the stelling? So this is Kathy who wrote along, my other student, and she's holding the Gibson RB250, which is one of the two banjos in the running for Tim at this point, from what it sounds like. And we're all kind of in love with a stelling, just the way it sounds, but this Gibson is such a close second. Good old basic RB250. The stelling neck on this is sticky, we're noticing, and I've noticed that with other stellings. I don't know if that's a, just a quirk of stellings or what, but I'm very uneducated about stelling, so I don't know. So, Tim, clearly the answer is just to grab both of these banjos. I mean, you're an educated man, making a good living, and you know you don't have kids to spend the money on, no one to leave an inheritance to. Inheritance to. So I just really think you should walk out of here with both banjos. What do you think? Well, I do have permission from the chief financial officer to make a major purchase today. I do believe that the offer would be withdrawn immediately if I walked to the cash register with both of these. So I see. Okay. Well, I'll distract her. I'll get her out in the car. You bring both up to the register. Oh, she's listening. We weren't talking about you. We weren't talking about you. Hey, two banjos. That's like a chicken caught in a vacuum cleaner. That sounds good. Okay, so what you can't tell in the video is we've been here several hours. Tim is just <laughs> agonizing, <laughs> agonizing over this banjo. Now, Tim, I've had this camera on. You didn't know it for the last 40 seconds, and all we see is your head hung down to the floor here. So. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if I had a drum roll sound effect, I'm going to search for one. But the decision has been made. Tim is holding the Stelling. What brand is that, or what model? Virginia. Virginia. I'm sorry, the Stelling Virginia. Brain fade there. So, oh, and there's the wallet. Now, hold, wait, hold that up again. I want to see how much thinner that is when you get done buying that. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> and Mama's giving him his blessing, so. All right. Okay, so here we are for the dramatic conclusion of our banjo adventure. We're on the way home from Lansing. We have a very decently priced used Stelling uh, Virginian in the back. Tim finally broke down and made his decision and took home the Virginian, so. Um, I'll turn the camera and let you see him weeping over his lighter wallet down here in a second. <laughs> oh, he's very excited, so. So in the end, Tim, you're happy with your purchase? I am happy with my purchase. Okay. Having uh, buyer's remorse yet? I have a little buyer's remorse, but I do know. Previously I was playing a, a gold tone maple classic 150. You just heard everyone in the audience gasp when they heard you say that, knowing that you now have a Stelling Virginian. <laughs> so the Stelling is a huge step up. Um, I, I like the way that the neck feels in my hand. The price on the banjo, $3,900, considering they go for over $5,000 new, is a good price. It's in very good condition. And I think that's going to be a lifetime banjo. I think you made a great choice. I'm really jealous. And uh, someday I'll have a nice banjo. Someday when I grow up. You know the funny part about this? I'm not gonna grow up! <laughs> so, um, also, Ellen, so that all of the husbands can write to you and uh, have you give them instructions on how to um, convince their wives to allow such purchases. Do you want to say your email address here? Or, uh, you know, I mean, do you want to launch this new service you have of aiding the husbands and getting their wives to budge? Okay, okay. Uh, all right. All right. Get it, give you that offer, so. But I do have something to say about the band, too. Yes, yes, please even do. Even when he clunks and does the wrong note, <laughs> it even sounds better at this band, <laughs> than it does on his gold tone. Well, there you have it, folks. <laughs> Ringing endorsement for the Stelly Virginian. Even when Tim sucks, it sounds better. How about that? <laughs> I would have to agree. Even when I mess up, which is very infrequent, but when it happens on that rare occasion, it doesn't sound too shabby. You got it from the horse's mouth. Thanks for watching. Banjo Paul out.